we're stubborn people for sure. And that's one of our struggles here in Norway that we always want to be really independent. We want to do the stuff our way. Yeah, Norway, it's cold, but I'm not a p Yeah, Norway is, it's expensive, but I make money. You know what I mean? People that grow up in places, they have to become better and they have to push harder to be good. Honestly, I never really thought it was possible for me to turn pro. And in that time, it was either racing or slope style. He, he hasn't had it easy, you know? He doesn't like to ride contests uh, and he's not living in Canada, so he kind of had to make his own path, you know? It's really funny because there's just these two sides of him. Like he has this uh, being this clown on the outside and everybody when they see him, he's always like all over the place. And if you just look behind it when he's working, he's actually way more professional than a lot of the other guys when it come, when push comes to show. So because he's from a farm, he grew up on a farm, he's a country boy and he knows to work hard. It's a dream job and all of that. But you gotta be a grown up and realize that it's a life after this, you know? You can't be all, all weirded out when it's time to grow up and be normal. I think what's cool with Makin is that he's always kept his hardcore nature. And I've never doubted myself. I never doubted my skills. I've never doubted my style. I never had doubts like that. I more or less had doubts that is there room for me in this, in this sport? And I don't believe that it was room for me, but then we did Fest Series and it was room for me. <laughs>